There are many ways to stream Pokemon games to Twitch if you want to shiny hunt live. The good is capture cards, the bad is custom firmware, and the ugly is simply filming your consoles. Everyone, if they can afford it, will obviously choose to go for the good. But after all the trouble you had to get through to find the console, all the money you had to spend to get it, you plug it in, boot it up, add it to Streamlabs or OBS, and it looks bad? Trust me, I've been there and I know just how frustrating this can be. So today I'm giving you my step-by-step -step method to set up capture cards, DS or 3DS on Streamlabs or OBS. Hi, I'm Erwin. At the moment, I'm streaming every weekday at 2pm CET, but if you are in the future and I change my schedule, just follow me on Twitch or join my Discord to always stay updated. Also, if you like the content, please remember to subscribe, that would help me a lot. Alright, I'm assuming you have plugged in your console and the software works relatively nicely, whether it's a Japanese capture card, a capture card from Loopy or whatever. Now it's time to add it to Streamlabs or OBS. Let me say right away, I'm using Streamlabs in French. And I'm sorry for that, but I will use the English words, don't worry. Also, feel free to pause during every step. Anyway, the first step is to add a source. So let's do this. Um, we will use Window Capture. Remove the cursor, because why not? And let's choose the top of the... DS capture, there it is. Then this is the important part, you have to be very careful about this. You need to add scale filtering and this is what changes everything. On OBS it's quite easy, you can just right click on the window capture, select scale filtering and choose the point option. Here on Streamlabs, you can't do that, you have to do it manually, so let's do it. We click on window capture, right click, go to filters, add a filter, Choose scale filtering, obviously. You can then select the point option and for the resolution is where things start to be weird. I personally use the one-on-one, -on -one, but yeah, if it doesn't work for you or it looks worse, I don't know, just try other resolutions, but the rescaling is very weird. Let's select the one-on-one -on -one option and there we are, it looks terrible, but it's actually way better than you think. To make it look good, if there is a black part around the game that you want to remove, you can simply hold Alt and do it like this quite easily. You can crop very easily. Then to resize, you will need to press Shift and resize the game with both sides. To make sure the ratio is the same as the game, you can just copy paste it, remove the filter and then make it look like it's the exact same ratio as the game. After that it will look amazing, even in full screen, as you can see here. The scale filtering makes all the difference. And if you don't trust me, well, look at this. This is without scale filtering. It's not horrible, you know, you can watch it, but yeah, it's so, so sharp, it looks so clean, and trust me, once you go sharp, you never go back. So there you go, I hope I helped you. If you have any question, please do not hesitate, feel free to ask them in the comments, I will answer to everything. And as usual, thanks for watching, take care, good luck on your hunts, see you around.